Yo, what's up guys? Lil Neef from JFL Trophies and Achievements and welcome to our weekly trophy slash achievement update. Today's date is the 6th of January 2021. Yes, uh, it's 2021 so I'd like to wish everyone a happy new year. Hope everyone had a good Christmas break as well. Um, yeah, so this is our first weekly update for uh, this year so pretty excited about that. So, uh, because of the recent uh, Christmas and New Year's, I am able to actually get some decent work done on my achievement slash trophies this week. Um, as you guys know, the past month or so, I have been really slow when it comes to earning achievements and that, because of work and all that. Uh, but I definitely took advantage of the time off with the break, so... Yeah, I got some more achievements and trophies done, which is nice. Also, it doesn't help that the fact that I live in Sydney and currently uh, COVID is back where we live. So, uh, we've got quite a bit of restrictions. So, that's held me back from work as well. So, uh, I guess that's good when it comes to earning achievements. Obviously, it's not good in general, but um, it's given me the opportunity to get some more achievements and trophies done. Alright, so uh, let's go through the games that I earned this week. So, quite a bit of games done this week. All right. The first game that we worked on this week was Farming Simulator 17. So, as you go, guys know in my past videos, I have been working on this just to get this done before it left Game Pass. Um, I was able to get it done the day before it left Game Pass, which is nice. Uh, yeah, overall, I don't mind the game. Uh, just towards the end, it did get quite a bit repetitive and grindy and all that, but, uh, yeah, so I was playing this legit until I realised that you can actually earn achievements with mods, uh, that would have been nice to know before when I first started, I would have got it done much, much quicker, but it doesn't really matter, so basically what I did, I just added a whole bunch of mods, uh, one of them being a money mod, where you just basically, uh, get unlimited money, so, it's basically cheats, so, um, I don't like to use cheats, but in this case, I wanted to get this game done before I left Game Pass, so, uh, I got it done as quick as I possibly could, so I just used a whole bunch of mods, and yeah, so uh, I'll just go through you guys with all the achievements that I got. So the first achievement, uh, help a fella out, complete a task for another farmer, you'll get this quite easy. Um, yeah, so in this game basically uh, you can either buy fields or you can actually uh, work for other farmers uh, on those particular fields, so... Uh, there is an option for helping a farmer out, so <clears throat> this is an achievement just for completing a task for for one farmer. Make them grow, fertilize 10 hectares, so this one's really easy, I got this while just working on all the farmer tasks. Peak profits, earn a bank account with a million in-game money. Uh, I got this quite easily, even playing this legit, because uh, of this achievement, all the glitters, find out all 100 gold nuggets, so you actually get a million dollars. Uh, just basically from getting this. That's a, as a reward for getting all the nuggets. So you'll get this while getting the gold nuggets. But then again, you could still get this pretty easily with the mod as well. So, uh, yeah. Bumper harvest, harvest 10 hectares. I got that during the um, ta farmer task as well. Financial independence, pay back, uh, pay back the ent entire bank loan. I actually, you can actually get this done like pretty quickly. Uh, when you first start the game, but I forgot this was an achievement, so I actually got this a bit later than I probably normally would have. But yeah, this one's pretty easy. So you, when you first start the game, you uh, own the bank a bit, but uh, it's only about five grand, so it's quite easy to pay back. In for the long haul, reach 10 hours playing time in a single save game. Uh, this one you'll get naturally because the game is going to take you at least 10 hours, the minimum of 10 hours. Farmer's favorite, help each farmer at least once. Now, this one is actually missable only because if you buy all certain, uh, certain lands, um, because certain farmers own certain lands, so if you go ahead and buy all the lands of a certain farmer, uh, you actually do not have access to the helping that farmer's... Uh, you, you don't have access to doing their tasks, I mean, because uh, basically the tasks are tied to the land. So if you buy the land, you won't have access to their task and you won't be able to, be able to help them anymore. So this one is missable, but uh, you, you should be alright. As long as you don't buy as like many um, land, you should be fine. Because uh, if you buy too many 
lands, you, there's a chance you can make this missable. But I, I honestly didn't find this a trouble because I wasn't going out and buying every land. I only just bought what I needed, and I just made sure um, I had another farmer to do. Because the farmers have um, more than one land, so if you buy one of their lands, it's fine. As long as you don't buy all their lands, that's all that matters. Uh, into the soil, so 10 hectares. I got that during the task as well. Uh, cut down a tree. This one's easy. You just got to buy a chainsaw. And then just go around chopping trees. You don't need to sell trees or anything because grabbing those trees with that machine is a bit of a pain in your ass. But luckily you don't need to do that. You only need to cut them down. So what I did, I just cut them down and just left them cut down. Uh, oink oink. Breed 50 peaks. Um, this one's pretty easy. You just got to... Basically, what you got to feed them is water, uh, corn, I think it is, um, hay, and I think, uh, no, I don't think there's grass. So, uh, yeah, basically with all the breeding animal stuff, you just got to make sure you have the different nutrients for, for them to eat and drink uh, for them to breed. Because if you don't give them that, they will not breed. So you just got to make sure you're on top that you're on top of that. So it's pretty easy. It's just a matter of... Uh, time. This one's the quickest one you can do. Preparation is key. Cultivate, cultivate uh, 10 hectares. Uh, this is the only one I actually did not do during my uh, task, her farmer tasks. So I ended up just um, repeating tasks. Actually, no, I couldn't even do it. There was no tasks re related to this. I actually had to do this in normal gameplay. Because I tried to do this in tasks, but I couldn't find any relating to cultivating. So... Uh, this one's still easy, just uh, what I did was I just used the money uh, hack, bought the biggest land, and then just kept uh, cultivating it, and then replanting, and then cultivating again until I got the achievement. That's the way I did it. Uh, Jack cut down 50 trees. Uh, this one's similar to the first one, cut down our tree, you just got to do it 50 times. Uh, cowboy breed 20 cows. Now the cows are probably the biggest pain in the ass ones to do only because um, they need so many different freaking nutrients for them to continue breeding. You have to keep an eye on so many things. So it takes forever for them to breed. So cows are quite a bit of a pain in the ass. Um, yeah. Uh, sweet dreams breed 30 sheep. Now these are probably the easiest ones to breed because all they need is grass and and water. That's all they need to grow. So, uh, to breed. Sorry. So, uh, these are probably the easiest to breed when it comes to like giving them um, different nutrients. Uh, free pointer. This is just a miscellaneous trophy or achievement, I should say. Uh, score a free pointer. Uh, field goal in the ba basketball. So, uh, on the map you'll find a basketball field. Uh, all you're gonna do is grab the basketball and throw it uh, in the Basket, uh, passes for point in the line. Uh, it's pretty easy. I, need, I got it in my second try, so it's not too hard. And last and not least, break, uh, breakneck bankruptcy. Reach a negative balance on your very first day. So this one's missable as well, but I don't really consider it missable because it's so early in the game, pretty much when you first start. So uh, you can easily get this as your first achievement, but I decided to leave it for last because why not? So I basically just started a new game and just... Uh, Constantly just spent money and borrowing and all that, so, um, borrowing money off the bank, I should say, so, I, I got this quite quickly, it's a really easy achievement, and yeah, so that is everything for Farming Simulator, so, uh, it's a very easy achievement list, especially with the mods, um, basically, as long as you, um, Keep an eye on your animals when breeding, uh, you should be fine with the rest of the achievements. Because the breeding is really the only pain in the ass bit about this achievement list. Alright, uh, the next game on my uh, list that I've done this week. 3D Maze slash Labyrinth. So uh, this is a mobile game. Uh, basically this is just a maze game. So I just, uh, at the time I was like, oh, I just want to do a mobile game, you know. So I just uh, looked around and found this game. Uh, I do like to add in some random niche, random games. Uh, I don't know why. Especially bad games. I don't know why I just have a bad habit of playing bad games. So uh, mobile is probably the best spot when it comes to finding bad games. So um, yeah. Um, so the achievements are very easy. 
Uh, so basically with the achievement list, you've just got to complete all the levels. So, uh, yeah, pretty much just beat all the levels and you get all the achievements. And the levels are very easy. It's pretty much just a maze. So, uh, yeah, this one's very easy. So uh, if you guys want to do that, go ahead. Um, it's not worth very much XP. It's only worth 42 XP. But, uh, yeah, so uh, not much to say here. Just basically complete all the levels. The only... Not, not even hard, just a bit of a pain in the ass level is level 5, because uh, you have to do it in a certain amount of uh, time limit. Um, but other than that, the rest of them are not too bad. Um, yeah, because you've got no time limits with the other ones, it's just level 5. Alright, uh, the next game, Project Cars. So I actually picked up, picked this up very cheap on uh, Steam for like 3 bucks off G2A. Uh, G2A is basically a website where you can get games. It's, um, yeah, most of the time they're pretty cheap. They're cheaper than Steam most of the time on their Steam sales. So I do like to uh, jump on those deals when I do see them. So I only got a couple of achievements because uh, I did realize that I had the PS4 version. So um, I didn't want to do too much. Um, so the achievements that I got was Keep Calm and Race On. Crashed on or before the first corner when... Then went on to win the race. Uh, this one you're pretty much bound to get this because uh, the game uh, you're you're bound to crash. So uh, basically, if you just set this on easy mode, you'll get this naturally. So um, yeah, home field advantage won you more than twenty events at your favorite location. Um, I don't even know. I don't even remember setting your favorite location. I don't know how the the that works, but uh, yeah, I got that apparently. And to infinity and beyond, having an uh, infinity greater than 50% of all car classes. So this one's uh, quite rare, but it's actually quite an easy achievement if you do it straight away. So uh, basically with this achievement, you just got to have above 50% win rate with all the different car classes. Um, so this is a sort of achievement where if you leave it to last on your list, this will become very, very difficult. But if you do it first, it'll be very easy. So... Uh, what you could do is you could leave this to last if you wanted to and then just reset your save and then you could just um, get this achievement easy. So that's why it's so rare probably because uh, people don't even notice this achievement so they don't do it, try it until later on and then once they try it later on it's become much harder than it could be if you do it straight away because uh, instead of doing uh, two wins because uh, the guy that I saw told me to do two wins so I just did two wins. Um, so if you have like a hundred, uh, races in the, with these cars and then only get 30 wins, then you're going to need quite a bit of wins to catch up to go above 50%. Whereas if you only have two wins, uh, it's very easy to make that win percentage go up to 50% or above. So, uh, actually it has to be greater than 50%. It can't be just to 50%. Um, yeah. So, uh. I just knocked this out straight away, um, and then I even, and then I just stopped playing the Steam version because I realized I did have the PS4 version, um, which had the unobtainables. So I actually switched over to PS4. So I'll talk about that later on. Um, as I said, there is an unobtainable in this, but like I said uh, in the last couple of videos, I really don't mind anymore of unobtainables. Obviously, I'd like to get them done, but. I'm not going to go out of my way and not play a game if it has an unobtainable. I'm just going to try and get that game done as much as I can. And then the unobtainable, obviously, I can't get. So I'm just going to have to leave that. Um, the way I'm looking at it now is pretty much just getting as much XP as I can. XO XP. So, yeah. Uh, this is the unobtainable here. Community Ambassador. Participate in 30 driver network community events. So um, the developers have stopped getting um, updating these now. So... Uh, there's no way of doing them. Um, they have been coming back and forth the last couple of years. Like, they've said they're going to stop a couple of years ago, but they've still been doing it every now and then. So, I uh, highly doubt they're going to continue it now, but you never know. If they do, I'll jump on this quickly on the Steam version. Uh, but we have to wait and see, I guess. Um, yeah, so that is about it for the Steam version. So, uh, I'll talk about this again more when we get to the PS4 version later in this video. Alright, uh, the next game on our list is uh, Worms One Rumble. Um, so this is a game that came out on PS Plus this month. Or last month, I should say. Um, it's basically just a Worms game on steroids. <laughs> um, it's basically just uh, 
it's worms, but instead of turn based, it's just constant chaos. It just it never ends. Um, it's not it, it, it's a battle royal worms game. So just imagine a worms game, but no turns. You're just constantly running around and shooting. That's what it is basically. So um, I haven't played the game much. I only played it for like literally half an hour or so. Um, not even half an hour, just under half an hour. Um, yeah. So. First impressions, I I don't know. I didn't play it that long to really judge, but um, I might enjoy it more once I play the game more. But I had really just picked it up just to play it for a few minutes and then um, a few games and then uh, yeah, that's it. So um, I'll see how I go in the later games. But yeah, uh, so the achievements that I got were uh, boot camp, complete the training. So this is basically just for completing the tutorial. We get this pretty much straight away. If you choose to do the tutorial anyway. Uh, finisher, finish your first game. And better than most. Place in the top 50% of a match. So uh, yeah, that's the only achievements I got. Obviously those are pretty standard achievements that everyone will get naturally playing. Um, I'm not sure of the other achievements. I haven't really looked at them. I just picked it up because it was free on PS Plus And just to play with my mates. So uh, you might see this in the future. You might not. Uh, depends if we feel like playing it again. So yeah. All right, uh, next game on our list. Um, so uh, I feel like playing another mobile game because why not? So I decided to play The Sims Mobile. Uh, so the achievements are actually very easy in this game. Basically, all you got to do is get like to level uh, ten or fifteen, maybe, and then you have access to doing all the achievements. Basically, all the achievements are just story related because it's it's got like a sort of it's not really a story, it's more just doing missions and that, but, um, yeah, it's more just, uh, com like, going through the game and you get them pretty much naturally, so, yeah. Alright, uh, so the achievements that I got was, um, Life Here I Come, Let's Play. Uh, this is pretty much an achievement you get pretty much straight away, because all you gotta do is launch the game. Once you launch the game, you'll get this achievement pretty much straight away. Uh, so this one you, uh, pretty much... There's no way of missing out on that because you get it as soon as you pop the start the game up. Uh, live in the lifestyle, create a dream home, and live in the ultimate lifestyle. Um, this one's another one. All you got to do is create your sim, and after you create your sim, you move into your house, and then you'll get this achievement. Uh, hello world, hit the town and go to the park slide. This is story uh, story related. Again, or I think every, every I think these ones story related too. I'm not sure though. Um, yeah, so uh, eventually it'll get you to go out and it'll teach you how to go out of your house and do other stuff, other stuff uh, to the side. So you'll get that done. Uh, gainfully employed, join a career to start ranking, ranking in the Somalian. So this is another mission one. Um, eventually it'll tell you to go work at a cafe. And then better together. Uh, another sim is ready to join your household. Um, yeah, so once you progress enough into the story, this uh, will give you the option of making another sim as well. So, uh, yeah. Um, like I said, I'm not really sure about these achievements. I think they're all just story related. You just got to level up a bit more into the game and then you'll get these naturally. So, uh, yeah, um, I'll probably look to get these done sooner. It just depends if I feel like playing it. And we are back here again. <sighs> uh, Apex Legends. Uh, this guy, this game drives me mad. So, uh, still no progress. Um, yep, last achievement was still the 20th of December. Still only on two wins. I just don't know. I, I don't even want to talk about it. Same result as the last couple of weeks. No wins, just getting frustrated, yeah. You'll, you'll notice it if you see my streams, because I stream this game every time I play it. And Mr. Mine. So, I haven't played this for like nearly a month now, I'd say. Um, because I've trans uh gone back to my gone to a new PC now. I've haven't really gotten this off my old PC yet. So I decided to go back on my old PC and play this again. I'll have to transfer this to my new PC. I still haven't done that yet. So, um, yeah. So I'm still playing this on my current old PC, but it doesn't really matter because it's only an idle game. So it really doesn't matter which PC I play on. Um, yeah, so I just basically progressed in this a bit more. I, I didn't play it that much. I only uh, installed it again yesterday. So I just pretty much just afk that while playing other stuff. Um, yeah, but I'm going to be looking into getting this 
getting more of this done again. Um, I also noticed that they added two more achievements. Uh, one for each limb, have four weapons, and the Reaper, very 30 scientist. Uh, those achievements weren't in there before, so it looks like they've actually added those achievements to the game. So that's pretty cool. Alright, here we are again, Project Cars. So I did mention that I, I did start the Steam version, but then uh, I did realize that I had the PS4 version, so I transferred onto the PS4 version. So, um, yep. So now I'm actually not working on Steam version, I'm just going to be working solely in this version of the game. Even though it's worth less XP, because I've already got the unobtainable, that's what's made me want to uh, do it on PS4 now. Alright, so uh, with this game, I did get the unobtainable back in 2019. Uh, community ambassador, uh, ambassador participate in 20 driver network community events, I said this earlier. Um, yeah, so they're not updating these anymore, so you can't get these done anymore. anymore. They have been... Um, that, like I said, they have been uh, updating it the last couple of years, even though they said they wouldn't. So, unless they do that again, which I highly doubt, um, I'll do it again on Steam. But yeah, I already mentioned that before. Uh, keep calm and race on. Crash during a race and went on to win. Uh, yep, that one's pretty basic. Just crash and still win. Um, I already talked about this one. On your left, laps an opponent in a race. Um... This one's pretty easy. Uh, you'll get this naturally. Conquered all races seriously. Uh, I forgot to mention that I am playing everything on easy mode because I don't think the trophies are affected by the difficulty. So I just play on the easiest mode just to make life much easier for me. Um, yeah, because uh, racing games on hard difficulties can be a bit of a pain. So just thought I'd play on the easiest difficulty if I don't need to play on the hardest difficulty. So that's why it's probably so easy for me. Uh, Conquered all races and... Seriously, uh, won every race in career mode, uh, career championship, I should say. So, basically, this is just for winning every race in the uh, calendar for the first season or any season. But I got this done in the first season because, like I said, I'm playing an easy difficulty, so this one's very easy. Uh, twerking won your first accolade, you get this naturally while going for that. Uh, make meticulous. Uh, completed every practice, qualifying, and race session in every round in a championship. Uh, yeah, so I basically just did this. Um, I think you get this naturally while playing anyway, so... I know she's simulated, but... I haven't been simulated, I've been pretty much doing every race. Uh, ready to pounce, had a re uh, reaction time of less than 0 0.2 seconds off the starting grid. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's just, uh, pressing the accelerator right... Uh, right on time for the before it says start. So I got this naturally. I didn't even know this was an achievement. Not gonna lie. So yeah, uh, VIP received twelve invitations. You'll get this naturally while playing the career mode because you'll be getting more intentions the more win you get. And requesting flyby, enter and exited the pit lane without losing a position. Cannot be in the last place. So uh, this achievement I got when I was doing the. Because if one of the races in the career mode, it forced you to use the pit lane at least once. So what I did pretty much, I just had a big head start ahead of everyone. And once I entered the pit lane, uh, they were still really far behind. So um, yeah, I got this pretty naturally. Uh, because like you said, uh, I don't know if the uh, AI drivers have to enter it. But I know we, I have to enter it uh, because of the mission. But uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, so that is it for about uh, this game. I'm going to be playing this whole bunch, so I'll, I'll be talking about this in the next couple of weeks or so. Alright, uh, next game, Cricket 19. I actually haven't earned any achievements since last week in this, but I have been chipping away at the career mode. Uh, I'm up to state now, so getting up there slowly in career mode, so... Uh, yeah, not much to say. I've just been playing career mode. I haven't really gone for any of the other trophies yet. And last but not least, uh, Rocket League. So, um, as you guys know, I've been playing this for fun, like, nearly every week. Uh, pretty much every week. I don't think I've missed a week without playing this for fun. So, uh, this is a game that I always go back to just to play for fun. Um, yeah. Uh, with this game, I actually have been earning quite a bit of achievements. I've actually been going for the achievements this time. So, um, 
yeah, I'm just going to try and get all the achievements done by next week. So, uh, I'll probably be playing this again tonight anyway. Alright, so the achievements that I earned was Mad Scientist. Play and complete a match in three different Rocker Lab arenas. I got this naturally while playing the game. Uh, I was actually playing this just for fun when I got this one, but the ones above I was actually going for. Um, Hot Shot 2 uh, Part 2. Uh, win the MVP award using Backfire, uh, Scarab, or Zippy. Uh, this one's very easy. Uh, all of these, by the way, I got in private matches. So, uh, just to let you guys know, you can get them in private matches. Um, yeah, so you just got to make sure you're MVP in the match. Um, basically, what I did was just set the uh, mutators to one goal. So, once you score one goal, the match ends. So, that's just a quick way of doing this. Um, so, yeah, basically just... Did a 1v1, um, set the mutators to um, one goal maximum to win the game. And then the match gets over and like off kickoff. So that's an easy way of doing that. Um, natural progression. Uh, win an online match with Backfire, Scarab or Zippy. So I uh, just did that uh, with Formal. Um, basically we just played a single uh, 2v2 game. And I got that one done. Trade secret. Trade in five items of the same quality to receive an item of the next highest quality. This one's, uh, again, easy. So you just got to make sure I have five of the same qualities. Uh, put them together to go upgrade to a single quality above. So this one's very easy. You just go into the garage, go into your customizables, and just select five of the same quality uh, items. And then it will give you the option to upgrade. So uh, this one's pretty easy. Uh, family, not friends, play and complete a game with Dominus or Takumi. Uh, yeah, just play as one of those two and you'll get that done. Drift King, perform a 180 power slide with a uh, Dominus or Takumi. Um, yeah, so this one you just got to hold, or in my case I was playing on controller, so you just got to hold square. And basically just do a 180 and you'll get this uh, achievement just uh, while driving with one of these two. Uh, sea Turtle, head to the Aquadome and score a goal while flipped on your back. Uh, this one's easy, just uh, make sure you're on your back and score a goal. Uh, this one's really easy if you're just boosting it. It might be quite a bit, of, it'll be really challenging I reckon, like in a proper game, but since we have private matches, you can just do that and it's very easy. Uh, ride or Die, uh, equip Dominus or Takumi, Takumi with any decal, then win a match. Uh, win a game, sorry. Um, so that's, this one's easy, just equip a decal and win a match, so that one's easy as well. And the last one that I got is, my world is fire. Equip the flamethrower boost and win a 4v4 online match. Now this is a bit misleading. Um, when it says 4v4 online match, I actually did this in a 1v1 on a uh, private match and just set the mode to 4v4. Uh, even though you're only doing a 1v1, if the mode's set to 4v4, this will actually still count. So. Uh, basically, I just did that, and uh, yeah, I got that achievement, so uh, that one's pretty easy. So yeah, uh, I reckon I'll, I'll definitely get this bit done by next week. Um, I don't have that many more achievements to do, so I'll just go to the bottom here. So basically, all i got to do for this game is, basically, all i got to do is uh, get all the championship done, season championship done, so that's all pretty easy, it's just a matter of me grinding through it, because it is pretty boring, because the bots are pretty, uh, potato, um, this one I, I should be able to get as well, that's just equipping a certain thing, um, I just gotta play with these two, I haven't played with them yet, that's why I haven't got these achievements yet, holy crap, they're actually worth quite a bit of XP, I just realised that now, hmm, um, yeah, that's pretty much the same as that, just, uh, work on total shots, so that, this is all just playing naturally, really, I just gotta actually choose the cards, because I never play with these cards, I haven't got these yet, uh, and the certificates I actually haven't looked at, like, I did on PlayStation, but I, I don't remember much about it, so, uh, basically, I just gotta make sure that I, um, have one that is certified, and I should be fine. Um, that one's very easy, I don't know why I haven't done that yet, and that one's another one where you just got to equip something and play in the center map, so, these all can be very d done in a day easily, so it's just a matter of me getting it done, so, uh, 
I uh, should be able to do that probably even later tonight if I really wanted to. But yeah, I think that is it uh, for Rocket League, which is nice. Alright, uh, yeah, actually that's every game that I've worked on this week. So yeah, that definitely a much that's a very big improvement compared to the last month or so. Uh, like I said, the last month or so, I've been very... I haven't been doing much achievement hunting on that. So, uh, thanks to the holiday and thanks to um, a bit of our COVID restrictions here in Sydney, um, I've had a bit more time to get some achievements, which is pretty nice. So, I'll definitely take that with open arms since the last month I haven't been able to do much. So, uh, yeah. Uh, when, it, when it comes into regards of uh, when I upload these videos, I honestly don't know anymore. I, I've i been really slack lately as, as well when when I upload these videos. I don't even know if I'm going to have a set day anymore. Maybe I'll just do it any day, really. So, um, yeah, I'm not going to say what day I'm going to do it anymore, to be honest, because uh, I don't I never follow my days anymore. I just upload it when I actually have the time to, uh, which I should have a heap of time now, but it's just, just a matter of me wanting to do it. Um, yeah, so... Um, what I want to do in the next week, uh, I want to finish off Rocket League. Uh, I'm going to work on more Project Cars, Mr. Mine, Apex Legends as usual, but you know, I just can't get any wins in that. Uh, the Sims I'll be working on as well, probably. And yeah, also in regards with my 100% playthroughs, I've been really slack with that as well. I really got to get those done more often. All right, yeah, so I think that is it for uh, this week. So uh, I am currently on 273,791 total EXO points, uh, which is nice. Um, yeah, so if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like. And I'll see you guys in next week's update. Peace out, guys.